what is up everyone so in this video i just want to give you guys a quick uh new leveling guide slash leak starter I, I wouldn't say actually it's a leak starter so this is a new leveling guide that you, i think some of you might have seen it's actually using the summon spectral wolf on kill and the level one mb skill and both of these can be obtainable through um king's march let me just go there and quickly show you guys so yeah over here the bench you can just look for spectral wolf you can craft this on a level one equipment and also the envy which is this and in the early x right like um i'm talking about x one to four or even five your life will be extremely easy from this okay um because the aura basically grants you 100 plus flat chaos damage and this means all your wolves will also have them now this uh leveling guide right is a little bit of an improvised version from mine it's more catered towards the occultist and what i'm actually using is blade vortex now i know this sounds crazy at first but when i tested it oh my god this thing is just so smooth and so good like i have never leveled up something so easily before like this um is literally actually like 4 30 pm and i started playing this character like i don't know this morning so it's been only like what five hours six hours it was really very easy because all i need to do is cast blade vortex once in a while here and there and i just keep walking um because of your occultist ascendancy here profane bloom and of course equipping the uh what is the mark of submission basically you just explode a lot of things on the way and for those pesky and tanky rare magic boss monsters you leave it to your minions to do it right that's why um i'm using the blade vortex uh more or less like more towards the poison blade vortex because we are scaling with chaos damage right so i have this chance to poison and yes we are scaling a lot of it to poison bv with unleash and summon phantasm support now i got this idea because we are already going to have summon spectral wolf. so what if during the boss fight you do not have so many uh, or you do not have spectral wolves and you're going to be very scarce right so summon phantasm support basically gives you a lot of chance probably up until a maximum of nine phantasm and this nine phantasm all will have the envy aura as well as chance to poison and you're gonna poison the uh, boss unique bosses or egg bosses a lot and that is what will kill them very fast all right and then of course void manipulation and either chaos damage this is also added to your summon phantasm support okay so these four below are supported by summon phantasm and the rest of them is literally like just um for my summon spectral move right i have faster attack and minion speed support and also withering touch okay withering touch actually helps a lot um because you can easily and very quickly get a max stack of wither and this actually improves your single target damage also we don't really need like um area or pack clear because of profane bloom what we need is actually single target all right and then the rest is just uh, automation plus steel skin and convocation so that your wolves um, and your summon phantasm and all your other minions whenever you're fighting the boss it will just be automatically summoned by your side and they'll start focusing heavily on the boss right the other one is just clarity for mana improvement uh the mana usage you don't really have to level this that much hero of purity and hero of agony okay this too is also perfectly wonderful because hero of purity is going to give you another four more sentinels and this four more sentinels is also going to have the envy aura effect uh, not only that it grants more physical damage hero of agony also gives you chance to poison which buffs our bv poison up a new 60 percent and with the skill tree just right here after i've taken it this will bump it up to 70 percent and then 85 percent okay can't really reach a hundred percent but guys this is good enough okay so this is roughly how the skill tree will look like it is very odd trust me it is very odd but it's really very good okay so 
yeah, um, um, I'm gonna run through the POB very quickly. So, as usual, I have a list from Act 1 to Act 5. Just follow this, you really can't go wrong. And yes, do bear in mind we are going for minion nodes right here, even though we are playing Blade Vortex, okay? It's really good, especially Enduring Bond, because 20% increased seal effect duration lasts or prolong your Blade Vortex as well. And at the same time, your minions deal 30% increased damage. If you use a minion skill recently, you will always use a minion skill because of Convocation. So, perfectly awesome right here. And once you're done with Act 1, Act 2, you just slide all the way to the left side. Get this, and of course, uh, do your life first, so you, you don't want to go back there. Act 3 is to get this aura so that we can start reserving uh, mana for our clarity and if you do not have enough mana yet right uh, I would suggest to give up the sentinel of purity alright it's not as important and then go downwards to its potential potency of will to continue prolonging the effects of blade vortex when you are in act 4 take the whole minion will on the left now this one is also very interesting yes I'm gonna repeat we are playing blade vortex <laughs> alright this actually increases not only our minion damage but increases our damage as well because of spiritual aid increasing and reduction to minion damage also affects you so all of our minion damage whatever that we have taken so far is going to affect our chaos damage and poison damage from our blade vortex and this is really nice right here okay um, and then you just move up to this cruel preparations right Yep, and then this is for end of Act 5. And once you're done with Act 5, Act 6 to Act 10, just follow this tree. Alright, it's more of a damage boosting. And then here you're gonna cast one more extra Blade Vortex, which is really nice. And the poison is over here. Alright, so just, just follow this tree. You should be perfectly fine. If you do not know what to take, remember to take this compare version and just compare what you actually need to take next. Next, uh, let me see. So Act 5. Here, so from Act 5 to Act 6 to 10, this the green color ones are basically what you need to take. Okay, as for Ascendancy, right, I would suggest you just take um, Profane Bloom and Void Beacon first, alright? Whatever they take afterwards is completely up to you. Okay, these two are the essentials because um, this is a leveling skill tree. Uh, you're probably going to change it afterwards. Like, for example, if you're going to transit to CLC, uh, you don't really need to take this video in presence, alright? And then I have one for level 80 as well. I'm pretty sure this is a leveling tree is more for you all the way until level 80. Whether or not you're going to level it up yourself, do 5-way, do whichever. I will leave it to you guys. Alright, and um, skill gems is all here. Alright, I, I, I will leave it for you guys to have a look at it. Um, items as well. I didn't really put in much because this is a leveling tree. Take any rare items that is uh, that can fit in here with life and resistance, alright? Otherwise, you can just follow mine, which where I go just Tabula, Gold Rim, Astra Mantis, Praxis, uh, Launchonio Karas, Magnet, or and even 7 Day Step. Like, these are essentials. I just put them on from since Act 1 onwards and just go. Of course, some of the stuff you can't really use until you have hit a certain level requirement but I literally use all this all the way until act 10 really really awesome alright did a little bit of cheating over here so flask <laughs> use when charges reach full otherwise just use any charges alright I will say quicksilver and quartz is kind of like the mandatory one right so yes um, I, I did not one more thing I did not include what other gems you need to take through the X. honestly this build is so easy what you really need is just Valblade Vortex and Summon Phantasm chance to support, a uh, chance to poison, and just go. Literally, and just go. There's really nothing else you need. Okay, maybe some clarity for mana boost. But yeah, that's all you really need from Act 1 to Act 5. It's just so easy and so simple. Right, I'll link this POB on the, on the Google spreadsheet, and I hope you guys enjoy this leveling tree and leveling method as well. Alright, what I'm about to show you is I am going to the Found Shrine Crypt to get the Money Girls map and I'm going to do the Chamber of Sins, alright? Just this two portion here. Um, you're going to see that it's 
it's really gonna be very fast like i am not going to slow down at all okay yeah, so there we go if you're trying runes um the point of this whole this whole build right is once you pop the first pack of monsters just keep moving like yes you can stop a little bit just to replenish your minions and stuff but just keep moving let your minions do the work like they are so strong and powerful your bv will be the one that does the clear if you need to and your minions will be the one that does the single target damage because of the explosion from occultist it it just works perfectly well all right okay so yes let's just keep going just keep going okay pop this tree um yeah you can you can just pop a few more of the monsters but your objective here is really just to keep going okay do not turn back um there is really no point in it to be honest yeah, you, you you can literally see like everything dies so quickly and so fast okay i'm gonna find the maligaros map here like even magic monsters die so quickly man oh, i'm gonna add my chaos damage like i'm not even looking at what i'm killing i'm just finding my way to get the uh, quest objective okay here and i'm pretty sure there was a rare monster right there where he kind of like immediately died it's just so good it's really just so good at this point um that it levels so nicely man okay. the <laughs> deliver mirror in the middle of like i don't know the waypoint This is a little bit like a zoom enter, but it is so much faster than a zoom enter and so much more powerful. Like I don't really know how to explain it, but it's just it's just ridiculously strong. Okay, this is like the like I mentioned, this is like the improvised version, um, specifically just for um, occultists. And at first, I, I really thought I was like, maybe I'm a little bit crazy to level up as a Blade Vortex, but damn, when you actually play this, it's, <laughs> it's insane. Like, I didn't expect this to work out so well. I'm just literally running across the map while my minions are like, like, like just picking up all of those crumbs of monsters left behind because most of the time your blade vortex is going to um clear most of the monsters okay there we go you can see how fast this thing is gonna die okay it, it, it's just gone already yep it's literally just gone where is he okay, he's here uh yeah phase two is done I mean, where else can you even find this kind of crazy damage? <laughs> like, yeah, it's probably the same as uh, your smite, but come on, man, this is just so chill. Okay, portal is here, so which means yeah, it doesn't it doesn't exactly have the best defenses, okay? But I I've thought about adding in determination instead of the two heralds, but. It, it just scales so badly now that I feel it's not even worth it anymore to get it. Yeah, look. I'm not looking. I'm not looking at the monsters. I'm literally looking at where I need to go on the mini map right now. Oh my god, what just happened? Okay. Um, that is the first time I died. <laughs> well done. When we were just talking about defenses, such a nice timing. But it's fine, it's fine. Okay, it's fine because at the speed where you are clearing and moving so fast, 
It doesn't matter. It really does not matter. Yep. There we go. Move, move, move. I'm ready at the den. Okay. And after this then I will probably... You know what? Let's just do it all the way until um, the boss. Yep. The action field boss. I think it's just a really good demonstration of how insanely broke <laughs> this this method or this build is to level up i'm really at the action field just in a span of six minutes i literally kill tons of monsters i just keep moving forward and i've ran past like what five maps i didn't really count but yeah, 5 maps, I guess. Okay, the dog is gonna jump down, I guess. Dog. Hi, doggy. Okay, Stuff is gonna jump now, and he is probably gonna die really fast. Look at that damage, man. From the minions. Yeah, some of them is a bit weird. Why they? Sometimes they're not attacking the boss at all. I have no idea why. Is it because it's too crowded? Okay, it's done like nearly seven minutes i'm just here from like what <laughs> i don't know from the crossroad one two back here three four five five maps seven minutes five area okay to be exact 